हेलो फ्रेंड दिस इज संजय कुमार क्रिएटर ऑफ सेलेक्टर सब रिक्वेस्ट यू प्लीज सब्सक्राइब टू द चैनल सो यू डोंट मिस एनी अपकमिंग अपडेट्स एंड इनोवेशन ऑन सेलेक्टर सब टेस्ट केस स्टूडियो थैंक यू ऑटोमेटिंग एलिमेंट्स विच आर इन साइड आई फ्रेम एंड दो आई फ्रेम्स आर इन साइड शेडो डाउन इट्स रियली कॉम्प्लेक्स सिनेरियो एंड मैनी अ टाइम्स वी फेस अ लॉट ऑफ डिफिकल्टी टू फिगर इट आउट that element is inside i frame then that i frame is inside shadow dom so how can we handle these kind of scenarios and how can we write selectors and generate selectors for them and how can we automate these kind of elements so let's see in this tutorial so uh let me show you this scenario it's not very common you will not find uh, such kind of scenarios everywhere but yeah so here uh, on selectors of website just go to here more hover and then click on this xpath practice page here but yes in real time in some of the industry application and when you will be working on the enterprise application in a companies like mncs there will there you will find such kind of scenarios a lot okay so uh, here on this page let's say this element the enter country here if you right click and inspect this element let me just zoom in okay so this is the element here so if we try to automate and write this script for this one it might not work immediately reason because this element if you scroll up and keep scrolling keep scrolling and here you will see that this element is inside i frame or rather like better immediately open selector sub and you will get to know that okay this element is inside i frame here okay so this element is inside i frame we got to know okay but here you notice that if you will write just uh, try to handle this element based on this that uh, it is inside i frame and let's see if we handle this one thinking that this is inside i frame only so what we will do like first we need to uh, write the x path for i frame so here this is uh, id here we can see this id of i frame so go to your editor here let me just delete everything from here and <clears throat> this one so basically here i have written a, a small piece of code to open that website and now we will first because this is that element is inside i frame right so first we need to switch inside i frame driver dot switch to dot frame and here you can pass that uh, frame element by dot id let's say and here you just enter the id of frame this one and we have switched inside i frame okay and then that element is inside this one enter country here so this is the x path for this element so let's copy this one or better we'll turn on this command so we got this complete thing now copy this and we will paste this and here let's say we have to enter some send keys and this is our country field so here we want to enter let's say my country is india so i want to enter this now this is the correct script which we can think of just looking at that element country and uh, because that is inside i frame so we will have to switch inside i frame so that we have done it cool so uh, will this work let's see will it enter the value in that box so i'm executing this script now it has opened the browser okay looks like a script got failed here so this says that here no such element unable to locate the element which we are trying to this one so it has failed here to uh, to find this element it is failing here it's not able to locate the element okay then let's see what is the issue then so we'll go scroll up and try to find out this one okay it is here and now let's scroll up so you see that this i frame is inside this set root 
so this means that here we will have to traverse a lot and before iframe first we need to locate the shadow root so multiple switch we will have to do basically so first we will have to like open page then get the access of complete dom then get the access of this set then find out the shadow root element host element shadow dom host element then from that shadow dom host element get the shadow root access then inside shadow root access get the uh, switch inside iframe and then we will able to perform the action on that particular element in which we want to enter the value so first open page locate the shadow root host element this one then locate the iframe then switch inside iframe and then enter the value so let's see how can we do that so we will inspect this element iframe here and as soon as you will inspect this iframe you will get to know that this is inside shadow dom and here you will get the complete script and everything from selector sub okay and here because this iframe is inside shadow dom so here we cannot use the x path you will have to use the css selector to locate this iframe okay so here you will get the script from selector sub so copy this script this script is to locate this iframe okay so we will go here in our editor and in place of this we will have to delete this we will <coughs> switch inside iframe so basically this script is to locate that iframe okay and here because that double quote is outside so this is the uh iframe script so in place of this one this again let me just generate this again so yeah copy this one in place of this let me just delete this so this is the script here this we got the host name here we uh, got the shadow dom basically shadow root and this is returning the iframe element so this is the iframe element so this we can take it is inside a web element and this is our iframe here and now we want to switch inside iframe so here we will write the switch command only switch iframe uh, switch to frame and what is that frame frame is iframe we got the element so this is the piece of code which we got from selector sub to switch inside iframe to locate the iframe so this is the code which is returning the iframe element and now we want to switch we will have to switch inside iframe so this is the command to switch inside iframe okay after switching inside iframe now we can access that element here so our element is this one enter country so inspect that enter country and we got the x path for this so you can copy this or you can just turn on the command and you get the complete thing and here we will paste this and we want to enter some value in this so let's send keys and we want to enter value india here and now if we will execute this should work because first we have got the access of shadow dom through that we got the iframe element and then we have switch inside iframe and then we are trying to access that particular element let's execute and see let's open the window page and it has entered the value here so it has entered the value inside that country box if you will miss any of these steps let's say you just have uh, got the iframe element and shadow dom and you didn't try to switch inside iframe then if you will execute your script then also it will fail it will not execute because you haven't switched let me just execute this script it will not work because you need we will have to switch inside iframe to get the access of that iframe so you see that the script will fail and here it has failed that saying that uh the exception you can read it here it is failing for this one from driver command this network connection enabled so
So basically not able to locate that element. Exception, no such element. So it is throwing the no such element exception, unable to locate this one because we haven't switched inside that. So you will have to switch inside iframe. If you will directly just switch inside iframe, then also it will not work because first we need to get the access of shadow ROM. Now here there are some important points to know to be noticed here that when element is inside iframe then you will have to use the CSS selector so that iframe was inside shadow ROM sorry so whenever uh, element will be inside shadow ROM then you will have to use the CSS selector only xpath will not work CSS selector or ID you can use other selectors you can use but you cannot use xpath so that is the reason we have located the iframe element using CSS selector we cannot locate iframe using xpath because that iframe el element is inside shadow ROM but you can use xpath or css selector both for the element which is inside iframe so this box was inside iframe so that is the region that we can use the xpath or css selector both you must be thinking that this iframe element is inside shadow dom then why sanjay is using xpath here because uh, uh, shadow dom doesn't support xpath then how come it is supporting here it is supporting because this element is inside iframe and iframe is iframe is having its own dom and iframe supports xpath if element is inside iframe they supports xpath so here when we came inside iframe then there is no role of shadow dom so here when when we are inside iframe that time we there is no restriction of like shadow dom shadow dom restrictions was till here like till the time we haven't switched inside iframe so when you are inside shadow ROM, that time you can use only CSS selector, not the X path. That time you can use other selector except X path. But when you are inside iframe, that time you have all the privilege, you have all the freedom to use any of the locators. So this is how you can handle the elements which are inside iframe and the iframe is itself inside shadow ROM. I hope this video helped you and you learned something new today and uh, if you have any question any doubt feel free to reach out to me over the slack channel of selectors Hub. you can get all the links here in selectors Hub tab itself and on the selectors Hub website so uh, if you have any challenges feel free to reach out to me and if you want to learn more such concepts do join selectors Hub training here you will learn a lot more concepts related to such things like shadow dom because these days most of the companies, many of the companies are introducing shadow ROM in their website and people are facing lots of challenges how to handle those kind of scenarios. So you can check out the training details here. If time and uh, dates doesn't suit you, you can also take the recordings as well from here. And more details, you can check out what all things you will learn in this training and this will really help you guys a lot. And thank you. Please like and share this video so that others can learn such kind of concepts and this will definitely help you guys a lot and people and community. Thank you, thank you so much.